you got to do a short haul somewhere to put a effing transducer in. We're going to have to go to Canada. We're going to have to haul out somewhere in Nova Scotia. And I don't know how that's going to happen, but I know one thing for sure, we're running out of time. Took a drag last night, cigarette smoldered in its tray. Grab a little something and then be on my way. We go to this marina. Last time we got hauled out, there was like 20 dudes at the dock. And this time there's basically nobody there to help us. It's, it's like a do-it-yourself haul out. Proposition is to back the boat into this slip where I have very little room for air without smashing into something, crashing into something, or bashing into something. Wind's catching me. more guys to get lines. They're just standing around while we're trying to manhandle a hundred thousand pound boat don't work so well. Yeah. I hate doing this fucking hokey pokey stuff. Well I definitely it's a hundred thousand pound boat. We definitely don't want to go hokey pokey on it. Uh, you come down here then in this fucking boat. Sure. And I'll switch your spots. Yeah. All right, you can get hold on him. Yep. Yeah. Alright good. How tight is that line over there keeping me from getting crushed? Not that at all. You wanna tighten it real quick? There we go, good. It's gonna be just like cheating that fucking iron. Fuck. Easy peasy. Eventually it's out of my hands. Up thing? Yeah, so oh, you will. Both of us will. Good. <laughs> Need some insurance over here. That's a meme. <laughs> we cleared five minutes. Right yeah, it's, it's not going to take it. It's just going to just put it on the ground. <laughs> They're not, I, is that really it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's on hard. It ain't going nowhere. At least not right now. You guys were not I'd rather they not move us fucking two more feet besides just put us back in the water. I am a travel lift operator. That's not my job. I don't, I don't pay money to fucking make the rules. Yeah. I, mean, I was grinding my teeth that whole time. Yeah. Well, my fucking teeth hurt at this point. You did good. Trust me. You did really good. Uh, tired of doing good. <laughs> Sorry, it was a little rough getting in there. Well, if it, it wasn't so fucking windy, if the wind uh, would have died down, it would have been so much easier. I picked we, up right before I left the dock. I know. We wouldn't have had all those issues that we had trying to get it back. And We're, what? You're on a, a ocean research thing? Map, like, well, we map uncharted areas. We got this big uh, multi-beam we put on the front. Okay, and you can map yeah, it 3D. Yeah, and then yeah, we yeah. lower these probes down. But the, the whole point of that transducer is just a deep water. So if you lower a probe down, let's say 2,000 feet, uh, these are very fragile $30,000, $40,000 probes that we don't own. Yeah, we ain't got the money to fucking yeah, own them. Yeah, yeah. You bounce them off a rock down there, and uh, yeah, it's not so good. Hey, Nick, you hear me? Yeah, look at that. This is one of the silliest shots I've ever shot. It's working. Ah. Yeah, it's out. He didn't pull it out. Boy, what happened to it the last time, you think? It's weird, man. It's only about a month old. It's not very old, I know. And what? And just stop working? Hey, uh, who wants to grab the uh, cock gun so I can jam some fitty tool and uh, blue tape? I would do that. Well, yeah. Hey, can someone show him where the blue tape and cock gun is? Blue tape and cock gun. Put us back in tonight. We make quick fucking work of that shit. Hey, I like the so far. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Man, good. It's like, goof, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, to get him back in the water and get out of the way, we have wind tomorrow. Let's take advantage of it. Yeah. Let's go, hey, well, yeah. All right. Nice meeting you, buddy. You too, man. 
Have a good one. And you. Wheel? Check to see if she's leaking. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the depth sounder is in, the transducer. Uh, Christy, unfortunately, fell a bit last night off uh, a rock, basically, and she's getting checked out to see x-rays to see how bad it is, and we'll just go from there. So basically what happened is we were all sitting by the fire, Christy and Nick came out, there was like a 10 foot drop off like a little mini cliff, and she couldn't see it, it was really darn. One minute Christy was there, the next minute she was not there, and laying on the ground. Got a uh, text, hoping to be out of here soon, they are trying to set the bone one more time and then should be done. Yeah, trying to set the bone one more time doesn't sound very... Uh, did you see the picture? No. Yeah, they sent it to the group chat. Did you see that picture? It's gnarly. Gnarly. Oh, no. I mean, it's all swollen, so... Pull it up. That doesn't look good. Fucking sucks, man. Fucking sucks. The whole situation with um, Christy is just devastating. It's definitely the right decision for her to go home, but it's it's brutally heartbreaking and devastating to her, and for me also to have to tell her, look, I'm sorry, but you know, you got a broken arm and we can't take you to Greenland with a freshly broken arm. And I didn't wanna, I don't know, it, it just fucking, I hate being a captain sometimes. I hate that shit. Don't do it, Phineas. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. You're gonna get a uh, cast yeah, with in the face. Our... Yeah, exactly. So Christy left. Gotta be optimistic. One of you motherfuckers gonna have to start helping me in the engine room. <laughs> now that she's gone, I'm gonna have to start forcing one of you guys to get covered in diesel and turn wrenches on it, fucking engine. Fitting day for it though, huh? Yeah, it is. This day is definitely like definitely appropriate. Very fucking bleak, dismal. And fucked up. Well, Christian came by and shed a few tears. Yeah. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. Yeah, he is. Road again. Heading out of beautiful Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. Next stop, Pamia at Greenland. About 1,500 miles. Hopefully we can get there in about 10 days or so. Let's call it 14. 14. Let's not call it 14. Mm -hmm. And yeah, hopefully yeah. we have an uneventful passage. A nice, boring, uneventful trip to Greenland from Nova Scotia. If you fall off at nighttime, you're dead. <laughs> it's true. Well, hey, what is it? That's it? I'm sorry. That's the story, that's the story, folks. Well, that's the story, folks. Please support us at oceanresearchproject.org, our Patreon, or click the link below.